Everyone ready? Yeah. 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 That finishing move was awesome. The arm bar was uh, really solid there. How did it feel uh, working in there? Did you feel that you had it secured? Yeah, once I, I got the, the arm bar, first I got the guillotine choke. It was very tight, but I don't want to make my arms tired. So I, I, I let go the guillotine and set up the arm bar, and I make him tap. Is there a lot of pressure going into the third round? You had the point deduction and kind of coming back in that third round. Did you feel the need to, you needed a finish in that third round? Yeah, I felt like uh, they took me one point. So I need you to get the, the, the third round and finish the fight by, by KO or by, by submission. So once I took him down, I put him in my, my mind so I can't, I can't uh, uh, lose the position. So I work very tight in my BJJ and uh, get the submission. How discouraged were you by your last loss to uh, Russell Dunn? Obviously, you're a black belt on the ground. He was a blue belt, and he managed to catch you in a triangle choke. How, how hard was that loss for you to swallow? Yeah, it was very hard for me, but he he threw me like some some good punch, and then like I start to get like dizzy, so he, he set up the, the, the arm triangle, and he got the submission. But MMA, everything can happen. Talk about where you came from in the Singapore and 1FC. I know that you fought with them before. And the growth of MMA in those countries. Yeah, now I, I live in Singapore. I'm from Brazil, but I, I live in Singapore. I teach uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu at Evolve MMA. So before I joined the UFC, I was fighting in 1FC. And the, the MMA is growing a lot in Asia. And, but I feel uh, very happy to be represented my my country and the DJ in the uh, UFC, so it's great. How did this time compare your second time in the UFC? Obviously, as, as you mentioned, a very tough loss to Russell Dunn. The second time around, was it that much of a different experience fighting in the promotion? Yeah, of course, it was the, the first fight the first fight at UFC, like it was in January, so I don't know, I feel like really nervous and after that I, I tried to, to calm down and then I train even more and I feel more relaxed for the second fight and feel more comfortable inside the, the octagon, so I feel more comfortable this time. How did it feel here in Vegas this week? Obviously there's a lot going on with International Fight Week, the fights last night. Did you feel extra pressure or did you feel less pressure because there was such a big event last night and then tonight you got to do your thing? Uh, actually, I feel very happy for the, the opportunity to, to fight here in Las Vegas. That's the, my dream to, to be fighting here. And the, the, this holiday is a huge holiday. Have everything going on, UFC Expo, the UFC 175. And um, I didn't see a lot because I was focused to my, to my fight, uh, training, eating, go back to the room. But uh, I met a lot of guys, and I feel great for the opportunity. So. I'm very happy. Is there any specific names in the division you'd like to fight next after this, or are you just down to fight whoever? No, I'm the UFC employer, so I just do my job and, and train, make weight, and do a good fight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations.